Women face many challenges in Nigeria. These challenges range from rape and abuse if infertile to making sacrifices at home to the extent of going hungry if the food cannot go round. I think we have a lot of cultural issues that uh, affect women. You know, in the African continent, a lot of our culture is uh, probably pro-men. Women are seriously disadvantaged. The Ministry of Women Affairs is responsible for formulating policy guidelines. We engage state governments at uh, various uh, levels, state and local governments. We engage even at federal level, different agencies. We try to bring out uh, issues that affect women and talk about them. We bring out uh, some of these harmful practices and try to advocate against them so that uh, the situation can be made better. Efforts of the ministry are funded by the MDG's office. It is actually the MDG that has supported a lot of the work that has gone towards uh, passing the Child Rights Act by the National Assembly. And they also helped uh, in uh, articulating the National Action Plan on uh, child uh, policy. They are the ones that supported us in uh, articulating the national gender policy and in disseminating it and providing the reports. I believe the collaboration with the, between the ministry and the MDG is very, very good. And it is going to be one of the key things that will help in achieving goal three, that is women's empowerment and equality. We didn't really have pet projects, so to speak, because we had those initiatives in the women's centers in the 774 local government areas. And then the National Center for Women Development was also equipped you know, to do this training at various levels and the refurbishing of the center itself so that it can serve its purpose. Mainly it was supposed to provide a technical capacity on gender mainstreaming. Senator Patricia Akwashiki is one of the beneficiaries in the training and advocacy for women in politics. She has also encouraged the MDG's office to fund people-friendly projects in her community. I have been so happy with MDG. By the grace of MDG, I, I got a hospital in one of my communities in Wamba when I was in, in the House of Reps. MDG's office is funding the national machinery that is charged with the mandate for women's empowerment and the integration of women to the national development process, that's the Federal Ministry of Women Affairs, has been receiving funding from the inception of the MDG's office. And that I, is, is a recognition of the fact that this, this, these issues exist and there's need to support any intervention that can contribute to reducing the negativity of those uh, observations. A lot of rural women are raising their head and they are addressing those challenges. So if I'm going there, I'm not presupposing that she's already not um, stood up and trying to get there. What I will be looking to see is that, look, how can I support you get further than you need to be to where you should be, um, where you sh your rights should be served, services should be given to you. And I think the first thing you need to do is to ask and not presuppose that you know what her problem is. And they have a different set of priorities in each different rural community. You have to go down there. It's not necessarily that she'll say that, well, actually what she wants is access to credit. It may be just, look, do you think you can bring the water closer to where I can fetch it or that I don't have to send my daughter out on some hazardous journey? The MDG's office is looking to ensure that by 2015, the ratio of girls to boys in primary, secondary and tertiary education is equal and the proportion of seats held by women in Nigeria's parliament increased. The task is enormous, but the advocates are determined too.